Brian here with HelpSellMyRV.com out of Louisville, Kentucky, where all RVs are for sale by owner. I'm going to do a walk around on this 2005 Monaco Cayman 36 PDQ Quad Slide Turbo Diesel Motorhome. Overall condition, I will tell you in the beginning, this is not the best condition on the outside. Uh, there is some sign of uh, paint fading. 3M mask is showing some wear. The front windshield is cracked. The tires need to be replaced. Uh, the awnings on the slide outs need to be replaced and there's a few other items that I'll point out throughout this video. So if you're looking for a, a, a mint condition clean coach this probably is not going to be the coach for you. But let's go ahead and get started on the inside show you the condition and then I'll sh finish up the video by showing you the outside. This is a second owner coach. The owner has not covered it and so pretty much the wear on the outside is not the best so i would rate it poor on the outside but the inside i would definitely rate great condition uh, there's no sign of water damage on the inside and no sign of uh, wear or tear and i'll show you that to you while we're doing the walkthrough uh, starting off i will tell you this is the only issue that i found and it's the little rocker chair the little cushions kind of gave out on it but there is no wear or tear on any of the fabrics this is going to be a quad slide coach. First slide out accommodates that rocker recliner that I would replace. And it also accommodates the boot dinette. Boot dinette breaks down. You could easily sleep two kiddos, maybe one or two adults. Easily breaks down. Show off the fabrics here. Again, all the fabrics definitely, I would put this up against any 2005 model. Normal wear and tear on the inside. Better than normal, actually. I will tell you, I always say this on the older models, uh, for an 05, uh, the blinds are not the best condition and usually these uh, day-night shade accordion blinds usually uh, start looking kind of lousy. I would take them out and put the MCD roller blinds in. Probably wouldn't cost more than a couple hundred dollars to do that. It'd be a nice little upgrade for an 05 Cayman. Second slide out here is definitely a super slide, accommodates the high-to-bed sleeper sofa that's going to be a queen, maybe even a king pull out sleeper sofa show off the fabrics it's cloth it's got browns tans colors mixed in seat belts that was a big deal in 05 all your cabinets I believe are going to be a light oak and your hardware is going to be a satin nickel finish is what they're calling it kitchen also in the second slide out the kitchen slides out and you do have convection oven and it is working digital readout is working solid surface countertops three burner gas cooktop water filter pull out sprayer faucet I forget I want to show off that carpet carpet's still plush and again I'd put this up against any 2005 Monaco Cayman refrigerator uh, the old one did go out obviously it's been replaced with a residential little switch here to turn it off and on And I do believe this is tied into the 2000 watt inverter, which I'll show you outside. I like to show off the pantries. Soft touch vinyl ceiling, that was another big deal in 05. You do have fantastic vent fans throughout. There's one right there, and there's also one in the kitchen. Central command, I'll show that to you when we're walking back to the front. Show this walkthrough bath. Medicine cabinet, not just a mirror. Solid surface countertop even in the bathroom. Another big deal Monaco loved to spout about is their one-piece shower. You don't have caulking seams that look all cruddy and nasty. And it does have seating. Huge skylight, by the way. Spin around here, show off the private commode. 
I do check for uh, water damage around the toilets, kind of put my weight around the toilet and see if there's any soft spots. Did not find any issues. Check all four corners of the coach and around every vent. Anywhere there's an opening on the roof, I always uh, check for water damage. Did not find any issues. Just uh, coach passed with flying colors. Even check around the slide outs. It's going to be the third slide out and TV and looks like a little vanity area. If you wanted that option, you got that right here. And there's the fourth slide out. Queen bed slides out. You do have 110 outlets on each side of the bed. The bed does lift up. Huge storage up underneath there. And let's see here. There's some Try to name off some features that were big in 05. Uh, washer dryer combo unit here. Coach is 50 amp service. You do have dual ACs on this coach. Nice breaker box area in case you have any issues. Electrical. Uh, dual ACs on this coach. 13,500 BTU AC up in the living room and the uh, one in the bedroom. They're both tied together. This is going to be 11,000 BTU and you do have a quick dump feature. Cools off real quick once you get the coach cooled off after a couple minutes close it off and you have ducted AC all throughout and again uh, soft touch vinyl ceiling definitely a big deal on the uh, all RVs I do check in all corners open up the closets check for any staining look for any wallpaper wrinkling or anything like that did not find any issues look for any dark staining around the slide outs where they close It's going to be your service panel hatch for your uh, servicing your 5.9 liter Cummins ISB turbo diesel motor. It's got uh, five speed Allison 2500 transmission, and you also have uh, a Roadmaster chassis, four airbags, four shocks, has 7,000 pound tow capability, 300 horsepower, uh, 5.9 liter. Cummins ISB engine as I said and you do have 600 foot-pounds of torque pilot and co-pilot seat are in excellent condition Gonna show that off there your pilot seat I believe is going to be a five-way power uh, five-way power seat and it's by flex steel show off that flex steel badge there This does have the upgraded TV up in the cockpit area and the cockpit is all framed out in steel and the whole coach pretty much from the front to the back is all aluminum superstructure. One of the strongest coaches you're going to find. Definitely has one of the strongest roofs. Uh, you do have an aluminum skinned roof. A lot better than fiberglass and definitely a lot better than rubber. So that was a huge deal. Show off that Monaco badge there for that chassis. That Roadmaster chassis. Full adjusting telescoping wheel. And the mileage on the coach currently is 50,585 miles currently on this coach. And let's start from the right. Okay, backup camera, and you do have two side cameras. They are showing some uh, wear on the lenses, which I'll try to show you if I don't forget. And of course, you have a backup camera. Uh, and then you have your power shades, buttons here, kind of zoom in on that generator start and stop button this is your step cover it's an air powered pressured step cover pops out i believe it's air yeah maybe electric uh generator start and stop button I already said that and your gauges beautiful gauge nice carbon fiber look on the dash by the way let's put this telescoping wheel up so i can show you the side over here this is going to be the five speed allison 2500 transmission uh, and this is going to be your power heated mirrors. They're chrome, and that was a big deal. Chrome power heated mirrors on a coach for 2005. Air dump, so you can dump your airbags. Battery boost ties your house battery and chassis battery together in case you're in an emergency and your chassis batteries are dead. Exhaust brake, uh, cruise power, and uh, set resume. Oh, ICC lights kind of flash your lights for thanks for letting me over, kind of thing, like the truckers do. There is showing, showing some signs of wear right here on that carbon fiber finish. 
on this area. But anyway, it's a non-issue. I try to point out everything. Uh, this is going to be your leveling and uh, air brake, park brake. Nice little Cobra walkie-talkie there. Or not walkie-talkie, CB. <laughs> anyway, all right, you get the idea. Let's turn off this generator. And you know what? I forgot to point out the monitor panel. Let's go back here. Monitor panel here uh, shows you where you're on your tanks. Easy to figure out. Water pump switch. Uh, your water heater. 10 gallon water heater. Gas and electric. Uh, house battery. Chassis battery. Switches. This is, uh, this is equipped with brand new house batteries. And brand spanking new. Just bought yesterday. Chassis batteries. Uh, slide buttons here. And then your... Uh, system heat and you do have uh, heated uh, compartments and I'll show that to you 12 volt heaters on this coach and anyway this is going to be your energy management system it shows you how many amps you're pushing and this is going to be your Xantrax uh, 2000 watt inverter monitor here so all right let's go outside and again, inside the coach it is in excellent condition. The outside is not going to be the best. So oh, I do want to point out, you also have uh, reader lights for the co-pilot and step cover switch right there. And uh, power shade. Oh, power shades. I forgot to point that out. Power shades, and they both work. Uh, check them out. And you do have a, a, ma a manual right here for the pilot. And you do also have, I'm missing them, a manual over there. I'm going to try to get everything on this coach. These Monaco Caymans were fully loaded, so uh, try to show off everything. Again, the outside of the coach, not in the best condition, only because it's not been covered. Uh, the front three and mask, easy to replace. I know a guy who does it for about $400 to take this off. Not replace, but just take it off. Uh, anyway, it's a non-issue to me. Uh, windshield is cracked, and show that off right there. Call it Monaco. And Holiday Rambler, see what uh, what it would take to do that to change that out. You do have uh, here's your 5500 Onan generator right there. That mask, when it comes off, it should look like new paint up underneath. Oh, your wind, your headlights are also showing some fogginess. Uh, easy to replace. And those cameras, remember I was telling you. Let's see if I can show. It. See the lens is, is showing some crackiness. I don't know if you can change out that lens or what. All right, tires do need to be replaced. They're 10 years old. I'll try to show off the sizes, so if you want to check out the price. Uh, they're 255 70R22.5s. 255 70R22.5s. And uh, they are over 10 years old, but uh, they've been covered. There's, so there's no dry rot. So anyway, you can definitely make it home. Uh, I would think no problem. Dual fuel fills on each side, one on each side. I mean, 75-gallon uh, fuel tank on this coach. Your full awning package, uh, all your awnings uh, are not in the best of shape. The slide-out awnings all need to be replaced if you wanted to replace them. Uh, the fabrics were just cut off. Uh, the door awning there, uh, it's missing a pull lever. Anyway, uh, and we couldn't get the main awning out, so I don't know if it's an electrical thing or what. So... Let's open up all these compartments, kind of speed up this video. Side hinged baggage doors, and they are insulated. That definitely was a huge deal for Monaco in 2005. All right, let's start from up here. This is a raised rail chassis, got full pass through storage. There you go. Ladder. To get up on your full walk-on aluminum skin roof see there's some scratches right there i don't know if you can see it there some paint fading right there and if you're not looking for if you're looking for a pristine coach this definitely might not be uh the one for you but uh, show off some this paint flaking right here. And you can clean all that up and just hit it with some touch up paint. See, fading of the paint right there. Another reason why you should always cover your coach. This is a decal. It's full body paint, fiberglass skin. That was an option in 05, uh, but the, uh, it was equipped with decals. 
Show that Cayman badge there, Monaco Cayman. See the decals are all crackled. Another sign the coach hadn't been covered. I'm going to focus mainly on condition on the outside for you guys. Again, the crackled up decals. And, uh, let's see the. I was going to try to show you the age but of the tires, the manufacturing date, but uh, it's on the inside of the wheel, and I'm not climbing up underneath the chassis just to show you that it's over 10, year, over 10 years old. Another wear of paint around the baggage doors. All the lap sealant looks good up on the roof. 7,000 pound tow capability, seven way pigtail. This tow system that they have for their tow dolly or tow vehicle is not going with it, but if you're interested in the coach and you're interested in the hitching, uh, maybe you can work something out with the owner. Rub mark right there. Nice rock flap or skirt on the back there to protect your tow vehicle. Side mounted radiator, that's usually where you want it. Coach uh, actually runs cooler. Yeah, I gotta correct myself. Ooh. Monaco and Holiday Rambler, when I was certified, they would have got me on that one. This is a rear mounted radiator, sorry about that. I guess that's a transmission cooler. Your air intake is up at the top there, but there is showing some damage right there. I can't believe I got that wrong on that side mounted radiator. I should know better than that. Nice, beautiful chrome uh, vent for your combo unit washer and dryer. What are, let's see here. Yeah, your power cord there. Manual power cord, real. That's nice. 50 amps power cord there. And. Your inverter's on the other side, 2,000 watt inverter, Xantrax inverter. Let's see if I can find the manufacturing date. There's a better view of the size there. They're Goodyear's. Goodyear's, Michelin's, or BF Goodwrenches is what I'd put on them. Water hookups area, you have a 12 volt heater right in there. And nice monitor here on the outside, that's nice. Uh, pump switch, water pump switch, outside shower. You get the idea. And you can go into uh, winter seasons on this coach. As long as you're prepped okay and prepped right, you're good to go. That's more of the pass-through storage. The baggage doors actually on this side look fine. They're not faded. And the paint's not faded. So it's just one side. So I guess the weather just hit it more on the other side than, the, than this side in the sun and show a little bit of sun on some of the decals here so really it's just the driver's side that's an issue or i'm sorry the passenger side see i, I mean the decals on this side really are it's normal wear and tear no delamination uh did not find any issues with the bubbling which is delamination a little paint flaking off there a little touch up paint hit that up good Oh, they had some kind of a antenna thing with a wire going to it, and they put duct tape on here. A little goof off, take that off. It's the adhesive from duct tape. That should clean up. Coach really does need a detailing. And Oh, here's that backup sorry, side view camera lens. I don't know if you can see it. It's a little showing a little wear. Chrome heated mirrors, big deal. It's showing some shrinking on some of the seals right there. And again, that's just another sign that it's not been covered. But uh, really, uh, some of the red flags on here really can be taken care of fairly easy if, you, if you've got time and a few weekends to get her going. But definitely I would slap on some new tires and then figure out what to do about that windshield. Anyway, I know I didn't get everything. 
it, oh uh, here's another thing there's a satellite up on top but i'm not sure if it's out of date uh anyway but uh, i know i didn't get everything on this coach uh the construction and all that I, I mean it's it's one of the best built coaches to be honest but anyway if you want to come and see the coach call the number on the ad you deal directly with the owner and if you like this video i'd appreciate it if you give it a thumbs up and if you want to keep up to date on rvs coming for sale by owner in the louisville kentucky area you can always follow help sell my rv.com on facebook twitter and youtube